This is the Toyota Igo Cross, spelt with an X, that replaces the Igo after 15 years. It's the first European A-segment car that Toyota has engineered alone, and it shares 60% of its components with the Yaris and Yaris Cross. They even share the same Czech production line. Available only as a five-door, Igo Cross is wider, taller, and slightly longer than the outgoing model, but, spec for spec, weighs less. It looks unlike any other current Toyota, with a rugged cute vibe reminiscent of a baby Star Wars character. There's some unpainted cladding, a motoring podcast favourite, bitone paint, and even base models come with 17-inch alloy wheels. The model shown here is the range-topping limited spec in cardamom with orange accents, but there are three other metallic paint finishes available on the lower levels, with only the red and black chili attracting a colour tax. The full-length fabric sunroof is an extra on most specs, but when its back allows lots of light and air into the cabin, with minimal buffeting even at motorway speeds. Inside, there are seats for four. As you'd expect, boot space is compact, but regular, and the rear seat splits 50-50. The rear seats have limited space, but enough for children, generally, or adults on short journeys. Up front, you sit high, with good visibility and sight lines. All of the major controls are by knobs and buttons that will be familiar to Yaris drivers, and every model comes with a touchscreen, although the size varies by spec. Active safety systems, aircon and phone integration are standard across the range. Handling is good and feels mature. There's a little body roll, but the bride is exemplary on rough surfaces. It grips well, despite the skinny, low rolling resistance tyres, and it rewards conservation momentum. Important when the only power plant is a naturally aspirated, 72 metric horsepower, 1 litre petrol engine with no hybrid assists. Power is transferred to the wheels by either a 5-speed manual or a lightweight, continuously variable transmission. The engine is vocal when worked, but is normally unobtrusive. The Igo Cross is faster than most rivals, but won't be breaking any speed records anytime soon. My ideal spec would be a mid-level trim with the CVT and full-length sunroof. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave your feedback below. All our work, including our weekly podcasts, can be found at motoringpodcast.com.